Cabot Tower just up on the other side, and you have a Mon campus right here with like the Gardner Center and everything right there. Uh, so let's go have a look at the inside. So when you first come in, you have a little porch here, you know, closet, stuff like that. When you come in this way, turn to your right, you have your living room area. So it's a propane fireplace set up there, a nice little mantle, nice big windows. Good for people watching, all the people coming up now in Signal Hill. And the view is pretty nice as well. Coming back in this way, we have the uh, dining area, kitchen area. And look at all the big windows. So you got panoramic views all around the whole home, essentially. Uh, nice amount of cupboard space, bit of counter space there as well. Let's go have a look at the rear deck. So when you come out, you have some nice mature trees. Nice little sun deck. You'll notice you got a little parking here for two vehicles, no problem at all. And just look at the view. Right? You see the Basilica over that way, Johnson Center, all that stuff. And you got views over there, PB Park in the background down that way, all kinds of stuff. Really, really nice views around here. So let's go have a look at the downstairs first. Uh, so we'll go down over the stairs. So when you first come down, you got a nice little open area, rec area, uh, ideal for like a kids play area, anything like that. Coming in this way, we have your laundry tucked here in under the stairs. Great little place for it, saves a ton of space. In here you got a full bathroom. So bathtub, toilet and sink obviously, which is nice because especially if you have any uh, guests or anything like that or an older teenage child maybe, you can have this as their bedroom. So this is the fourth bedroom. You got a closet there, no problem. Uh, big windows. Uh, so overall, it's not bad down here. Especially, like I said, because they could have, if you had a teenage child, you'd have this as the rec area, uh, TV area, hanging out with their friends, and you wouldn't have to bother uh, mom and dad, or mom or whoever, or dad. Or, uh, then in here, you have your uh, utility rooms, so you got your hot water tank, your HRV, and your panel box, and a bunch of extra storage, which is nice. Then out this way, we have access to the rear yard. So a nice little rear yard here. You got your uh, patio up that way from up top and nice and private. Really nice. So let's go have a look at the upstairs. Uh, so again though, being where it is located, uh, you're close to virtually everything. Downtown is a walk away. Walk up Signal Hill to get your exercise, get your steps in. Um, and, you know, anything else is pretty close to where we are. Um, and, you know, it's a nice area. So coming up over the stairs, again, you got two big windows here for enjoying that view. Into your left here is one of the three bedrooms up on this level. But again, two big windows for uh, enjoying that view. Really nice. Coming out this way, we'll go here first. So we have your bathroom. So there is two full bathrooms, which is nice. In here we have the third bedroom, smallest of the three up here. Uh, but for a kid's bed, single bed, anything like that, or you could have the den, who knows? Lots of different options. And then in here, we have the master. So again, big windows all around, lots of room here. Uh, overall, it's not a bad place at all. And being the location, you know what they say, location, location, location. Uh, so again, we're here at 70 Signal Hill Road in St. John's. Uh, feel free to contact either myself or my business partner, Melissa Keo if you have any questions or you want to get in and have a look. Thank you and have a great day.